Hey guys, welcome to Todd's Garage. I appreciate you guys making your way to the video today. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you the most likely reason that your cigarette lighter uh, is not working. Um, my vehicle is a 2006 Toyota Corolla. Um, this is the same on all the years 2003 to 2008. It's going to be similar on the years either side of that. Um, and it's also going to be similar for like Camrys and matri Matrixes and Yaris's, uh, RAV4s, etc. But you may be using this to, you know, uh, have a USB adapter or charge your phone uh, or something else. Um, and if it's not working, the most likely cause is a bad fuse. Um, the great thing about the 2006 Corolla is they give you a spare fuse and a fuse puller. So you have everything you need already in the car ready to go um, as long as you haven't used that spare fuse. But we're going to show you where that's at. We're going to show you how to check the fuse and we're going to show you how to replace that, uh, replace the fuse. So with all that being said, let's get to it. Let's go show you where the spare fuse and fuse puller are at. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and pop your hood. Um, this is like your main fuse box here. Um, there's like a little, uh, like, button. It's not really a button, but it's something that you press in at the front here. And this is going to uh, disconnect this from the fuse box. And on the underside of it here, you can see it tells you where all your, your different fuses are at and all that good stuff. Um, the fuse we're looking for is not actually in this fuse box, but the spare fuse and the fuse puller are. So let me show you where those are at. All right, guys, here's your main fuse box right here. The 15 amp spare is that one right there. That's the one we need. Uh, the replacement fuse is a 15 amp. Um, the one that controls your radio and clock and cigarette lighters. Um, and then here, this white thing here is the fuse puller. Um, so we're just going to fit it around the 15 amp fuse. And this one's just plugged into plastic, so it's going to come out really easy. We're just going to pull up. There's our fuse right there. Okay, let's go inside the car and I'll show you where the cigarette lighter um, fuse is at. All right, guys, the cigarette lighter fuse is a little more tricky to get to than what we were just doing. But the first thing we need to do is remove the coin box here. It just gives us a little more light. Um, and the way we do that, um, open it up, pull up on each side. You're going to hear it disconnect. And then it will slide down and out. There's these little knobs on each side. Um, and they I just come out through those little notches on each side. So let's go ahead and set this off to the side for now, and then I'll show you how we access the fuse box. All right, guys, now that we got the coin box off, we're gonna go ahead and come down in here. So if we put our head on the floor and we look up, there's our secondary fuse box right there. Um, and if you just stick your finger on the side of the cover and push in, it'll come off. Let me see if I can do that really quick here while I'm filming. There we go. Here's what it looks like right here. You can see that the uh, cigarette lighter fuse is the 15 amp um, on that bottom row there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that one out with our fuse puller. Okay guys, so to do that, you're just gonna put your fuse puller over the fuse like so. That's the 15 amp one we're after. And then you're just gonna pull it um, straight out. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. There it comes out there. Let's take a look at it uh, up close. All right, guys, this is what a good fuse looks like. You can see the inside is intact. When it's bad, it'll be broken and most likely burned looking. Um, then you're just going to put your 15 amp replacement uh, back in that spot and test it out and see if that fixed your problem. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to put your fuse covers back on on both your fuse boxes, your coin box uh, back in its spot. Uh, replace your fuse puller and get a 15 amp replacement fuse to put in your spare spot for the future just in case you need it. It's, it's there and ready to go. Um, I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.